Today I will show you how to create a footstep system which plays different sounds depending on the surface. So for example when the player steps onto a grass material it plays a grass sound and when he steps onto a dirt material it plays a dirt sound. Ok so let's start. First of all we have to create our surface types. Therefore we have to go to project settings, so edit, project settings, physics and down here you can already see physical surface. And down here you can add all your surface types, so for example dirt, grass, rock, flowers and so on. But I will just type in grass now, press enter and dirt and press enter. Ok now open up your anim blueprint and in here we have to create some actions. So just do a right click and add a single line trace by channel. So just type in trace and up here you can already see single line trace by channel. Then add a try get pawn owner, so type in pawn and add that try get pawn owner. Then drag this out, type in location and add a get actor location and connect the get actor location with the start. Then drag this out, type in plus and add a vector plus vector. And at set, type in minus 500 and connect it with end. Now drag this out here, type in array and add a filter array and connect the target array with the try get pawn owner. And now we create some make array. Now you have to delete the filter array and then you have to connect the make array with the actors to ignore. Now down here you have to add a play sound at location. So just type in play and then add the play sound at location and connect it with this one here. Now drag this out, type in break and add a break hit result. And connect the location from the play sound at location with the impact point. Now drag this out a second time and type in get surface type. So just do a right click, type in select and add a select node. Now down here at index, you have to click onto it, then type in surface and choose the e-physical surface type. And connect the index with the get surface type. And now you can already see grass and dirt. And connect the return value with the play sound at location. Ok now in here at the select you can choose your sound, so for example for the grass I can select let's say explosion and at dirt I will select a weapon sound. And that's it, that's the whole setup. Now we just have to set up an event which plays all of these actions here. So compile this, click on to save and then go into your animation. So just go to animation and there we go to run. Now in here we have to add a notify, so just do a right click into the timeline go to add notify and click onto new notify and then give it a name for example foot step underscore left. Now every time the timeline gets to this point it plays our sounds in our animation blueprint. So for example when it hits this here then it plays the sound and you can also copy this one here to another place and then it plays the sound two times in one animation sequence. But I will just leave it like that now. So close the animation, go back into the animation blueprint in here do a right click, then type in footstep or the name that you gave before and then you can already see add anim notify event footstep left. And connect this one here with a single line trace per channel. That's it, this is the whole setup. Now we just have to set up the physical material so that the engine knows where which surface type should be played. So just click on the compile, then save. And now we will create two physical materials. So do a right click, go to physics, physical material. I will call this grass, then do a double click onto it and down here at surface type you can choose grass and save. I will do it a second time, so right click, physic, physical material, dirt, double click onto it, surface type, dirt. Ok now we can assign those physical materials to meshes and to a landscape. I will show you two ways now. So first of all to meshes. So let's say I will click onto this one here. I will add a material. So we'll go to materials, let's say grass, and we'll add it to this one here. Now we're going to the grass material, and up here you can see physic material, and here we'll just choose grass and apply. Now we'll go to a dirt material, dirt, okay, there's no dirt material. Let's see, let's take this one here. and double click onto it, physic material and dirt. 
Okay, so let's try it out. First of all, let's compile it. Okay, play from here. Now we go to the battle here, you can order here. It plays our explosion sound. Now when we go to dirt, it plays our sword sound. And we can do the same with landscapes. So we'll just go to File, New, Default. Then I will create a new landscape. Let's say 64 to 64. Great. Then I will create a landscape material. Just go here. Material. I will just create a pretty basic one. So we'll just type in landscape, landscape weight. We can click this one here to this. Grass. Then I'll copy this. Place. Then I'll type in dirt. Then I will type in dirt. And we we'll connect it to space. Then we'll just add two constants, three vectors. And I will give them a color. This one here should be green for grass. And this one here should be something like brown for dirt. Okay, now click on to apply. And assign the material to a landscape. Oops. Okay, sorry. Where is my landscape material? Here. Okay, now assign it to the landscape. Go to the landscape tab. Go to paint. Click onto this little pluses here. Click onto weight blend layer. And OK. And do the same with dirt. Now it has created us some layer infos. Now do a double click onto them. And you can already see physics material. And here we can choose our physics materials. So dirt. And this one here for grass. OK, now let's paint onto a landscape. So just put this one to max. And we'll just paint onto it. Then we'll take dirt here. Okay, so let's try it out. Play from here. And as you can see, it works pretty good. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and until next time.